Welcome to United Unzipped. This is ridiculous. I might start without him. Oh my god, mate. Someone's made those stairs bloody longer. I don't even know how that works. How do you make stairs longer? You just, you're, it's like an oh MC Asher drawing it's just such the a inside big, of this studio. Big office we've got. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Right, let's start. This is United Unzipped. We're going to make it really, really good just for the hell of it. Wayne Rooney puts us on a downer to begin with, though, oh, because he didn't wave. Did anybody think he would? Look, I, uh, this is, uh, the thing that annoys me, mate, is a mm. lot of people are going to be saying to us, look, we didn't think he'd wave. We didn't think he'd wave. He hasn't waved. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. He's he hasn't captain. waved. He's a captain of the club. He's representing us. Juan Mata. He told us. Tried to get people to wave. He said to me. Not happened. He said to me. Juan Mata said these words to me. Who's waved? I told him the list of wavers. And he was like, amazing. And then he said, who hasn't waved? And I was like, David De Gea and Herrera, because at that point I hadn't got Herrera's wave. I told him about the guys in the squad that hadn't waved, and he was like, I'll be having words, I'll be talking to him. And he said that Pereira was all right because he's followed, he's like, that's okay, balance is out. And he said he'd be talking to him and he'd be telling people to wave. Rooney's clearly not listening. That's not what we've happened. learned. Agent Matter, come on, step it up. We've got a big one for you now. We've got Agent Matter, he's in the dressing room, he's talking to the players. It might help now that we're not on an international break because they're going to be together a bit more. Fair so, enough. Phil Fair Jones. Enough. Phil Jones. Sorry, you're right. That's his face. That's his face, that, isn't it? A lot like his face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Phil, <laughs> give, give us a wave. wave. Phil, Phil, give us a wave. Phil, give us a wave. Phil, Phil, Phil give us a wave. Or we're coming to get you at the training ground and we'll bundle you into a van. Gonna make you wave somehow. Gonna make you wave. Gonna make you wave. Why, took a turn, why, didn't why it? Why are you joining him? I didn't know that bit. That seemed very original. We do it every week. That's what you told me to say. I don't think I did. You got the lyrics written there. Uh, you got the lyrics written on your card, mate. For legal reasons, just in case Ian does kidnap Phil Jones, I did not tell him to do that or to say those words. Uh, right, let's talk about club news at the football club Manchester United and the news surrounding the club, the football club. Uh, let's start with the UNICEF game that took place at Old Trafford, captained by David Beckham, managed by Sir Alex Ferguson. That was the home team, the Great Britain team, and Ireland. Sol Campbell. He was in the team, he got injured. All the greats. Then there was the away team. You know who was in that? No. Captain by Figo, managed by Ancelotti. Dwight York. Dwight Solskjaer. York. It was a great side. Oh. Ronaldinho, who was pulling out all the tricks. Was he? And he tried to lob semen again, just for fun, because that bloke loves lobbing semen. Taunting him. Let me tell you, let me tell you one thing about Ronaldinho. That okay. guy can... Throw semen. He can what? <laughs> he can throw. Why, why? Why is he doing that? Because <laughs> he. Well, so people are donating that at, at the hospital to help people out, maybe people who can't have kids. What are you talking And he's just going around throwing semen everywhere. What are you talking about? You just said Ronaldinho can throw semen. What do you mean? <laughs> I meant like you can trick him, you can throw him. He thinks he's I don't know what he's talking about, him. mate. What was the he score? Semen. The score was 3-1 to the home team, the Great Britain Iron team. David Beckham gets the ball from Phil Neville. He whips in across from the right flank. Paul Scholes makes a great run, heads it in. That's the opening goal. Class 92 in action. Where was Gary Neville? He wasn't there. Probably, I don't know, what doing. I don't know why he wasn't there. But he doesn't look the fittest of the Class of 92. Ooh! Oh, you're Stinky. saying he's not there because he's not physically up for it, mate. I'm just saying, could he run up and down the touchline? No. No, he couldn't. No, he couldn't. Uh, so, Phil Neville uh, played, wore the number two shirt, had a great time. Mm -hmm. The other goals for the England, Great Britain, Ireland team were scored by Michael Owen, who came Michael on Owen. for Peter Crouch, who, to be honest, missed loads. He had loads of opportunities to score, kept missing. They got him off. Fergie was like, get rid of Crouch, that's why I didn't buy you. Michael Owen, mm. I bought you, get on the pitch. He's probably just surprised that he was there, Peter Crouch. Like, how about I made it into this yeah. squad? And it, but he didn't, he didn't score. Uh, in the first half, the goalkeeper was van der Sar. That is who Scholesy scored against. In the second half, it was uh, van Raymond der van der Hau. And he had a howler. A van der Howler. First one of Michael Owen's. Bex crosses it in, I think. Scholesy pulls it back. Michael Owen takes it, smashed it in, couldn't do a lot about it. Second one though, just sort of let it run through his body and Michael Owen's got a tap in. No good. Up your Dwight, game, Van der Howe. Dwight York scored for the rest of the world team. It was a tidy little finish, put it in the bottom corner. Talking about the rest of the world, Seaman mate. Stranded. Um, 
somewhere in the world lives David Beckham and his son, Brooklyn Beckham. Yeah. Beckham and Beckham played together for yeah. a bit. That was nice, wasn't it? David was subbed off for Brooklyn Beckham. He went on and played for the last 20 minutes or so. And then when Sol Campbell got injured, Beckham went back on because there were no more subs. So Beckham went back on and played for 10 or 8 minutes mm. with his kid at Old Trafford, which is pretty special. And every time they pass it to each other, big cheers from the crowd. And then every time it left them, boos. No matter who it went to. It was like, boo. Give it back to a Beckham. Talking boo. about boos. I imagine people drink boos at a football match when they're watching England play. Jesse out. Lingard has been called up to the England squad. Yep, he didn't play, but he was in the squad. Big step for him. Really exciting. And I think based on what Roy Hodgson is doing at the moment, I think we will see him play before Euro 2016. He's put a few younger players in, hasn't he? Dyer, Ali, yeah. Kane, yeah. Sterling. As much as I don't like to mention that piece of rubbish, we've got a young England squad. We need some more Manchester United youngsters in it. Yes, we do. James Wilson next. Uh, now, commercial seal. This is a big one this week because it's been an international week. So presumably Ed Woodward has been on holiday. I don't know. So he hasn't got Manchester United a commercial seal. But you may have seen this. I tweeted it. I was furious. England now have an official grocer. And do you know who it is? It's one of the big boys. Lidl. Multi-million pound contract they've got with Lidl. They are the club's grocer. If they need any groceries, an avocado, a chainsaw, a DVD player, a portable laptop, or some sort of eggs, old bit of eggs, asparagus or eggs. The eggs. kind of stuff you find in Lidl. Toilet paper you've not heard of. Actual real Kellogg's surrounded by Maltese. It's a very strange shop. That's the kind of stuff, the quality that England squad will be getting from now on. And I think that will help us in Euro 2016. I think, but mate, why didn't disgusting. United get it? One. One though, mate. A lot of controversy. Lidl is a German supermarket. We oh. have British supermarkets. Sorry, mate. They're world champions. Like Tesco. Which I think is owned by the British company Walmart. We've got that's Asda, and that's American. Shush. Um, the Great British. We've got the corner shop near my house. Corners, spelled with two ends. Is it? Yeah. That's why they don't. They can't even spell, mate. That's why we want. But it's a good local British business. <sighs> Look, but the main thing, mate, is why anything. don't we have a supermarket? What Every time I go into a supermarket, it's not Manchester United affiliated. I don't know who I'm supporting. I mean, Sainsbury's are orange. Sainsbury's are orange! Change your logo to red, pay us £150 million, we'll let you sponsor Manchester United. Ed Woodward, get on to it. Jack Fulton's, I don't know if they're still in business. There, were, there was one in Google where I come from. Who the hell is that? Just get us sponsored by someone. Even if it's a little corner shop in Manchester. Reading had Waitrose. We'll all go there. Then, but Reading had Waitrose! Yeah. That's got to be right up there in supermarkets. Sugar, my They do salad bones. pots. They're delicious. Anyway, I'd so like I'd be happy with Summerfield. Moving on from this horrendous news that we're Does anybody got else want Ian to take over Ed Woodward's job as the chief executive vice president of Manchester United? Let's tweet Manchester United. Ed Woodward, quit your job. Get Ian Smith in. How many characters? I don't know. I don't want it to happen anymore. Anyway, Let's so move on. passive aggressive clip of the week. Yes. Here we go. Uh, uh, let them know that uh, that we have to score. Yeah, of course that uh, my mother knows also, and uh, also my grandmother knows that. Oh. That was two things, mate, I think. Go on, what were they? One of them was passive. Hang on, other one? Aggre defensive. No, aggressive. aggressive, I think. Passive-aggressive. Very passive. Lou loves it. He just loves it. Mm. It's his favourite thing, is to be passive-aggressive. Uh, right, let's do a social media roundup before we finish. Starting with Agent Matter, who's been posing in photos with Koke. Uh, they were used on the Spain official Twitter account and also mm. reposted by Koke. So we're assuming Matter was there going, Manchester United, fantastic football club. So, it's an exclusive. Koke, January transfer window, he's coming to United. We're overwhelmed now in central midfield. Mm. Schweinsteiger, Snydlin, Herrera, we're Koke. We're going to be getting everyone. Carrick. Carrick. Yep. When he's not injured. Yep. Uh, next, Basti posted this little number, going for a walk with his friend Thomas. I don't know if you notice who that is. Thomas Muller, mate. That is Thomas New Muller. New exclusive. Friend. Thomas Muller up front. It's happening. You heard it here first. Look at the evidence. They, they've been pictured together. It's happening. I don't know. Next up. I don't think he's Agent Masty, like Agent Matter. I don't think he's, I don't think that's his we'll role. We'll see, mate. I don't we'll know. see, mate. I don't, I, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Uh, next is Rojo in a pair of very short shorts. 
This is a sort of trend you see at the training ground, isn't it? I think it's because mm. they're trying to get a tan. They sort of roll the bottom part of the shorts into the elasticated mm. part of the shorts. Now, it does make the guys stand out more than you would usually expect. What I like to call it is a dangerous ball scenario. You mean because you're playing, it's football training? Um, There's yeah. balls all over the place? Yes. What do you think? Dangerous. I mean, one, a ball might slip out. What, of the ball bag? Ball me. Yeah. At football training? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm so... Why would a ball slip out because you're shorts? Make any sense. Uh, and finally, the man we're hoping to get away from this week, Phil Jones, has been getting some DJing lessons from Radio 1 and Radio 1 Extra DJ Charlie Sloth. Charlie Sloth, a man who seems to be 80% coat. His body, <laughs> he's just like, he's got no neck and he's just a coat. And he's like, he looks like he's curled up. It looks like he's um, like been brought up in a small box. Sure. And we've only just let him out, so he's a bit contorted. Right. Anyway, great guy. Yeah, that'd be easy. I love you. How do you think Phil Jones looks when he's spinning his Oh, DJ he's probably discs? like, put my headphones on, just have a little listen, take this one off so I look cool. Bit of this. There he is. Phil Jones, if you're watching, give us a wave. Oh, we love yeah, you. we do. We want, don't take offence to that. It's a joke. It's passionate. We it's love your face. face we love your face. Editing balls. Oh, maybe we'll edit that bit out. I want to look nice. And that bit. And all the bits you said, actually. It's going to be a much shorter show than we expected. That is United Unzip for this week. Thank you very much. Don't forget to wave to Phil Jones. Say hello to Agent Matter because he bloody loves it. Get in the comments below. Talk about Ian's beard. He reckons he's a shave. How does a beard I'm man know that he's a shave? I've no idea. People are giving me change on the street. They think I'm homeless.